panel in. Um, I would so like to, to speak like to the... All right. Okay, cool. Uh, let's speak about, uh, let's speak to the, the Blue Sphere Alliance. Um, whoever wants to speak, we, we have a questions about the past, distant past, the fall of the humanity, like how, when it happened, like how many million or thousands of years ago. Uh, I would like to speak about the future and about the um, dimensions and planets and ascension, that kind of thing. Who so I, I, I have studied the information by Asher, Asherian and Diane, and I would like their comments on this information because it's just too much for me. I need some more clarifications. Okay, who did you talk to before? Didn't you talk to them? Yes, we, we spoke to a triangular being called Golden Radiant. And no. uh, it was with um, Elena, Elena Kapulnik. It was and a Golden we'll, Radiant? Yes, Golden Radiant. Mm -hmm. Shiny that, Golden, Shiny Golden, Triangular. And we spoke to a, uh, another one, which was the second species. I'm blanking on that. We didn't speak to Blue Spheres yet, so whoever wants to come. You, did you talk to Blue Avians or? Yes, yes. For, yeah, we spoke to Blue Avians as well. Yes, to one of the Blue Avians. So who did you want to speak to exactly? Uh, whoever wants to answer our questions, because the previous ones were not very uh, forthcoming. They had trouble communicating. So if there is a communicator which is authorized to release some information to us, that would be wonderful. Okay, because, um, okay, they're not as easy to get a hold of. All right. They are, so, whoever wants to speak. They, they're sort of um, picky. Okay, hold on. All right. Let me see if I can get a hold of anybody from, what's it called, the Blue? Blue Sphere Alliance. Previously, I wasn't much prepared because I uh, knew very little. I knew only what Wilcox said and... Uh, uh, Corey, Did they give any good information last time? Barely, but it was at the beginning of the conversation. Okay. But uh, there was infor they gave tons of information to Ashayana Asher Diane, tons, several books. They gave information to Corey Good, and I studied Corey Good and Will Cock. Now I read a bit of Ashayana Asher Diane, so I'm more prepared. Oh. I more understand who they are. All right, Blue Sphere Alliance. Mm -hmm. Somebody that has historical knowledge and some information that is allowed to be published, some information that they want to get out, perhaps. Someone that will not be afraid to speak clearly and profoundly. Okay. I will see who comes.
you've connected with central information. Hi, yes. What is the question? Um, let's start with the first question, which is essential for my book. I'm writing the book and um, the information from Blue Sphere Alliance changes the perspective a lot. So the main question is a story about f the fall of the humanity and return to the higher dimension. And when did this fall happen in our time? It's uh, the, the numbers very are very confusing. Some numbers say it's half a billion years ago. Another number is 23,000 years ago. What's, what's the true answer? The original fall of your peoples? Mm -hmm. Is this your question? Yes. Yes, there is some. One moment. They are checking out the connection. Many discrepancies about this in even our history. There was more than one fall for your humanity mm -hmm. because there was times when the population was removed from your planet and then returned and then removed again and then returned. Right. This is why there's discrepancies in your information. Uh, the downfall from the higher dimension to the lower dimension, when did it happen? That was very long ago. Very long ago. The estimated time, 416 million years ago. Thank you. So the Atlantis on this earth was already in the lower dimension? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Because that was one of the critical questions to understand. Um, and what was the role of Blue Sphere Alliance in that? Blue, Fear, Blue Alliance was not considered Blue Alliance at that time. It was called something different. There were different species that visited Atlantis, but they were not an alliance at that time. Mm -hmm. At least not the ones that you know today. Mm -hmm. the, those that visited Atlantis were individual species that now are come to be known as the Blue Sphere Alliance. They were traders. They were communicators. They were... Uh, There is not a word that will describe exactly what their function was on the Atlantean culture. Mm -hmm. They had many different, one moment. Yes, their connection to the Atlantean culture included many different things, very diverse. So they could not have an actual title, but they did work with agriculture, mineral supplies, radiation, weaponry, crystals, and intelligence information. Would this be blue avians and golden radiance? Golden Radiance first, then Blue Avians. Blue Avians were very attached to Atlantis at one time and to the Egyptian culture. They so much liked it that they became part of it in some ways. Others did not like it as much and moved on after trade or whatever business they had with Atlantis. Uh, previously, I spoke to Horus, or a blue avian. Is it the same as Horus from Egyptian, an Egyptian god? Yes. Thank you. Or wasn't it blue, was it blue avian or golden radiant? I'm I'm confused. Blue avian. Thank you. Um. Thank you. Um. And who I'm speaking to now? 
You are talking to the information center. Excellent. Thank you. Um, so when uh, the fall from the higher dimension happened, is it right that the previous planet was called Tara, the higher dimensional Tara? Tara. Tara Ha, yes. <laughs> I was thinking Taraha would be the future and the past would be Tara. Is it right? What would be the difference between the next section and the past? Similarities are occurring. They will take the same name. Oh, oh so it was Taraha. Correct. Thank you. And is it right that Taraha, when it fell, it divided into Earth and other planets? Of different locations? No. It divided itself from the third dimension, but it did not create other worlds. You said divided from third dimension? It fell, I think it fall, fell from the fourth dimension, it did it? Correct. It divided itself from the third dimension. As it fell, the third dimension was a what was left of it. Thank you, all right. So is it right that all planets of the solar system are descendants of Teraha? Correct. Aha. Uh -huh. And also the planets in uh, Pleiades and Andromeda? Third dimension, as it is, was the default the falling of another dimension. Mm -hmm. So now third dimension appears and multiplies in its own way. Mm -hmm. But it was born of fourth dimension as fifth dimension was the father or mother of fourth dimension. Mm -hmm. So Basically, my question is, so the Earth is not the only descendant of Teraha. There were other copies of the Earth, like sister planets of Earth. Correct. Which also had humans, right? Correct. So is Era uh, in Pleiades the, also a sister of Earth and fell from uh, Teraha? Era is unique in some ways because it is still fourth dimensional. Uh-huh. It did not fall, but it was a fallen portion from another dimension, but it is not for fallen from Terra Ha. Okay. Uh, my next question is, thank you. My next question is, uh, the humans, did we, originate from, from which dimension did we originate? Did we, were we created in fourth dimension or the third dimension? It would appear that according to your histories that you did not fall in from dimensions but worked up from lower dimensions to higher dimensions. Mm -hmm. However, since there is no beginning and no end, it it is just part of the circle. Ah, so you think we started from third, went to the fourth, then fell from the fourth to third, and then we are rising back to fourth, is it right? Yes. These things happen all the time. Kalar, Kalar Kares, stars collapse upon themselves creating black holes. Black holes build so much energy and density, they eventually cannot hold their own density and become something else. Thank you. Um, so what, what was the connection between uh, Atlantean civilization on Earth and the civilization on Teraha. Was it also called Atlantis or was it something else? Teraha and Atlantis are different. 
They did not exist at the same time uh, as material one with another. Teraha was far previous. So there was no Atlantean civilization on Teraha? No. Was Only in the reflection of, of Atlanta, you will find Teraha. Teraha was there when Atlantis was there. However, they were not interacting in any way. Ah. Was Lemurian civilization present on Teraha? No. Lemurians were also third dimensional at that time. What's the origin of the word Lemurians? Is it somehow related to Mu? 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 Yeah. It is related to uh, distant civilizations far removed. The Mu, Lemurians were ancestries of Kashram Dieta, the ancients. And what was Mu? What was Mu? Yeah, yeah. Mu, in your history, the letter M in the Greek alphabet. Sufficient, thank you. Um, were, um, were the blue heavens created as guardians of our dimensional transfer? The blue avians existed before you needed guardians. They assumed that position eventually when they saw that you were going to be attacked. Uh, who, who did attack? No one attacked. They assumed guardianship before this event. So what the reptilians, greys, insectoids, we're all planning different strategies of how to exploit the minerals and properties from your planet. Oh, we're talking about they were, this. Working, they were not working together, but in separate thought processes. However, when they realized that they were all thinking similar thoughts at similar times, they some of them united. So we are talking about the modern earth. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Woblu Evans, the guardians of um, Teraha. The guardians of Teraha are in that particular dimension. They are not of our dimension. What's your dimension? Our dimension is between dimensional shifts. Therefore, we can exist in more than one dimension. So therefore, it is not considered our dimension. Uh-huh. Um. So what's the difference between uh, the blue avians and the angels? Uh, angels are also the interdimensional. Alien species is the blue avians. Angels were created in realms, and that is the difference. There is a different energy source as well for each of these two species. If you want to consider angels a species. Thank you. Uh, so blue blue avians are evolving, right? Blue alien. I did not hear that question. Are blue avians evolving like other species? Like other species, evolving, yes. And golden radiance as well. Yeah, yes, evolving. All and things that exist outside of spiritual realms evolve. And same relates to blue spheres, right? 
Blue spheres are technologically not evolving. Oh, blue spheres are not sentient? They have sentience, but they do not have all the qualities of life. Oh, I see. So do they have DNA? There is evidence that they have DNA, but it is not evolved. I see. It well, was... Go ahead. It was interplaced. Okay. Who has developed blue spheres? Who has what? Who has created and developed blue spheres? The blue avians have developed these spheres along with the help of the golden triangle realms, golden realms, whatever you want to speak of, in that they can be called many things. Thank you. But they did these things together because they are of like mind. Um, now the ascension. Um, so we are coming back to the fourth dimension. You will return to Teraha eventually, but your ascension is not about changing of dimensions. It is about evolution at this point. Right. So at this point we are evolving and at some point in the future we will evolve to shift dimensionally, right? Yes. But you are not quite there yet. Uh, what is the range of estimated times? Because some people think it will happen in our lifetime. What do you think is the probability of that? Zero percentage. Thank you. What are necessary steps for the ascension? There are many steps. Your people are not ready for ascension. Yes. What's, the, what's the key element which is missing? Inclusion. What kind of inclusion? Too many people are self-sufficient and not including anything else. All people must be included in the step to take it forward. Oh, so it's global unity and desire, global desire of ascension? It is not necessarily a desire, but it is a unity to understand that people are to be fair with one another and equal. This re revelation is spoken about, but is not practiced. Thank you. Um, in... Uh Ashaya Dayan's writings, uh, she doesn't speak about dimension as much as uh, universe. She says we are in universe number one and the ascension will bring us to the universe number two where Terra High is. is that it a is good... correct. She is correct. Let me explain. Mm -hmm. The universe is filled with all dimensions. Therefore, when this, when you are one with the universe, you realize that you are part of all these dimensions and will move forward into the next one until you are able to understand the criteria for movement to the next dimension. You will stay in that particular one. So the second universe, does it also have dimensions from one, two, three, four, and up? Of course. It so their, their third dimensional beings, would they be visible to us or they're in a different universe? So we're not. If you knew how to see them, you could. But you would have to be aware of where you are. 
and what you are looking at. Uh, Pete, you wanted to ask something. Yes. Hi. Hello. Can you hear me well? I hear you. Oh, okay. My question about, based on that subject of dimensions, is, is that if, say, for example, a civilization or a race were to have a same thoughts, would their thoughts and their imaginations would manifest a particular dimension that would be a probability or a possibility that it can manifest or be co-created in that sense? In this, in the realms of imagination, all things are possible. With the belief system, all things can be made and created as matter can be re-established with thought processes. If you knew the extent of molecular manipulation. Yes, it is possible, I am saying. But the obvious thing about this is, it is not probable until you move into the higher realms of dimension because you will need the understanding of all the physics of all and each dimension. Thank you. Um, I have another question. Um, it would be nice to speak to someone who is um, knowledgeable about these things. And I think Ashar, Ashayana Dayan would be uh, a very good um, helper. Can you pass uh, the, inv the invitation to her to to connect to us. I sent her an, uh, an email, but uh, I didn't get the answer. I think she is overwhelmed with emails. So is she, she in your realm? Yes. Does she exist on your planet? Yes. Is this a word? No, that's the she is not accepting this communication. Okay. I'm called away. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, if you can invite um, Grindel, that would be great. Mm. Yeah. Hey, Grindel. Yeah, hold on. Ah. Yeah, I'm here. Yay, hey, Grindel, how are you? What's new? Yeah, a lot of things are new, but a lot of things are older. Mm. <laughs> I'm working in... Israel right now and a lot of things are going on there so I have to stay put uh, for the most part in that area. Mm. I see. What are you doing there? What's the are you negotiating uh, or political political stuff, political. I have to get things moving there because of the way things are looking with your new guy there. Uh, president um, they're all up in arms about him you know because he's not really very supportive of them uh -huh. most of other presidents were mm -hmm. but this one's not so right they're a little worried so what are you doing what's your purpose um, I can't tell you all that what I do but right. I can tell you that I'm Helping things come together a little better. Excellent. 
Um, someone asked me to invite you to invite your comments on things happening now. Lots of things are happening. We are all really changed a lot of things. So no, not we changed. A lot of changed. A lot of things changed for us. Yeah. How, sh how should we deal with them? What's the expectation? Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? You have to live with it. That's what you're gonna have to do. Uh, but I mean, uh, I. Yeah, he's going to change a lot of things. You're going to, everybody is going to see it differently. So, so the question is how urgent the things are. I know, uh, you know, how much time we got? Should we drop everything and rush somewhere or we just kind of wait? Yeah, where are you going to go? They're going to find you no matter where you get to. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you don't need to rush off right away, but uh, maybe in a year or so. Hmm. Depending on if he, if some of his things that he wants to do will actually come to pass, which I don't think so. But if they do, there'll be a real possibility of war on your shores. But let's hope not. Uh huh. What happens in uh, with our alien uh, other species like? Is it? I uh, did you hear about the Greys? Should yeah, you trust yeah. trust that new development? Yeah. But the, you have to understand the extra aliens, whatever you want to call them, they don't care about your politics except for Griff McNear mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, they care about what happens with your politics, but in this case, they don't care about who your president is. They just care about what the world consensus is. Mm -hmm. That's all that aliens care about is the world consensus, not just one country. Mm -hmm. But of course, yours is a big country, so they do care, but they don't think it's going to make that much difference. They'll, they figure they're going to sway them one day somehow. So... So the first con contact is not coming, right? The open contact? With the not decision? at this second, no. How about the disclosure? Is disclosure coming? It seems like there disclosure are signs. Disclosure will be coming a lot sooner, yeah. I, I agree with that. And it needs to come for many, many reasons. But we can't go into that for right now. Did you watch the movie uh, The People of Earth? People of Earth? The people of Earth. Yeah, people of Earth. No, I never saw it. Check it out. It's a TV series with very funny reptilians. It's a comedy. Uh, it's a cartoon? No, it's a play movie. There are humans there dressed up as reptilians and uh, Nordic and uh, a gray. Oh, okay. The people of Earth, it's called. People of Earth. How old is this movie? 2016, and uh, it's a serious TV series. So now they have a second season coming. Check it out. Uh -oh. Where is it on? Mm. Uh, internet. Yeah. TBS or something. I don't know. I don't pay attention to that. Yeah. All right. So, um, Blue Sphere Alliance, how serious are they? As a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> So it is positive or, or what? Yeah, they're a serious group. Yeah, don't mess with them. They have a, they have their criteria. They have their thought processes, and they are very positive. But they do things their way. You can't tell them what, what to do. That's I that understand, right? So, um, are we ascending or what? Are they ascending? We, we, we're like you know. Yeah, some people expect are ascending. They're not. They're not ascending, but they're protecting the ascension in from attacks from outside. They're trying to let it happen uh, more quickly so that it's that you guys can be more useful. How's right. that? So they say there is zero chance that in our lifetime we ascend, right? Is it right? That is probably correct. I mean, I don't know, but if they said that, that's probably right. <laughs> um, 
Corey Good and uh, Wilcock came up with a story about Blue Sphere Alliance and uh, Runaway Civilization. They say there are many millions people, humans, in Runaway Civilization. Is it right? What does that mean? Oh, like traders and military people all over the solar system and neighbor stars humans oh, our, from earth our runaway civilizations our civilization just our secret program stepped out of earth and there are mi millions of people now there is it right N not millions no are you kidding you would miss millions of people from your earth if they were out there but yeah, they're starting to procreate out there. Yeah, that's true. But there's not millions yet. How many then? Eh, probably 10,000. All right. But so you, would miss, you would miss some people when they, if they left the earth, especially the ones that you're, they're talking about. The scientists and the space people and all that. If they were to disappear you would know about it what is what they do put clones in their place or something you don't know but they might have but there is about ten thousand now because they've been up there quite a while mm -hmm. all right so but how millions, important how important are they millions no what how important are they this runaway civilization yeah. well they could be important but they're not important yet Mm -hmm. And uh, Agarthans, the people under Earth or inside in, in other dimensions, uh, the story goes that they are eager to help us. Is it right? Who is? Uh, Agarthans? Yeah, there's a lot of different species that are willing and wanting to help. Some of them are doing better than others. But yeah, they want to help. I'm talking about humans. Humans from down there, from inside the earth. Yeah, there's not that many humans inside the earth. There is some. But yes, everybody inside the earth wants to help the earth for their own particular personal and selfish reasons. But um, yes, they do want to help. There is, because they don't want to be wiped out and they think that uh if they don't help the earth uh, there's a good chance that they're gonna not exist eventually that All the right. earth's gonna blow up or something but anyway yeah they're wanting to help everybody on the earth for their own reasons you know their own right? they don't want the earth to disappear so they All just right. want to help for their own selfish reasons but that's okay as long as they're helping so what should we expect about the release of new technologies, like free energy, free uh, everything, like medical and uh, uh, telepathic? There's coming. There's Tesla's brain is going to return. So when that happens, when Tesla is reincarnated or whatever it's going to be like, he's going to be able to let them know how to do all these things again because he has all that knowledge already we are talking about this year 2017 nothing, yeah nothing yet it's a soon it's coming soon how about russia anything new any news about russia oh yes there's lots of news about russia but i uh, they're they're working to try to be a, the world's biggest power. That's why they want Trump in their back pocket. They want the two of those countries to work together to be the world domination. <laughs> that ain't of course, gonna, yeah. Of yeah. course it's not gonna work, but that's what they want. Um, but then it'll be more you know, uh, in their favor. <laughs> uh, finances, do we, should we expect the collapse or is it delayed now? It's delayed because of your president. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's funny because he's caused 
all, a lot of other nations to gird up their loins, so, so to speak, to, uh, to tighten everything up because they're afraid that he's going to uh, try to get to them somehow. So, because they know he's a financier and he's into, into uh, business, so they are not sure how good he is at that because they don't really know who he is yet. But so they're going to be very protective of their money so that finances right now will be a little tighter and a little more stable. All right. Thank you much. I got to go. Anything else interesting happening? No, nothing else? Yeah. Uh, not that I can talk about. <laughs> All right. Thank you for your help. All right. Nice to chat with you. Yeah, yeah. Talk to you later. Alligator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hey, hey. Hey. How you doing? I'm wonderful. Thank you. We had a fun time with this with the other Grindel. other being with Grindel. Oh, good. <laughs> it was more like he actually wanted to say the joke. As if he said that. What was the the how was the how was the with the relationship? Or how strong is their willingness for it with the Blue Sphere Alliance? He said, yeah. it's like a heart attack. Oh, how serious are they? Yeah, how serious, how are, serious they? are they? <laughs> I was laughing. I was like, what? I was like, what? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I was like wanting to laugh so hard. I was like, oh, I got to hold on. Um, right. I guess, Jim, that's all I had. Uh, do you? Next Saturday, coming Saturday, what's that? Um, no, I'm not going to do it next Saturday. I have so much going on. So I will be off next Saturday. But I'll do, I'm doing it tomorrow. Uh-huh. But I can't do it next Saturday. Okay. So. I cannot do it either. So I guess we are up to the um, channel panel. Okay. Yes, get somebody in there. I will stop the recording. Uh, so that will be published until this moment. Goodbye, everybody. Do you have any announcements? Um, join right. us on Facebook group, Hukula Facebook. All right. And um, I need helpers to transcribe. I'm finishing the book. There is some transcripts needed. And today's okay. who wants to transcribe today's transcript? That's the main question. Okay. And that's about that. That's it. Um, thank you for your donations. We get a little bit, but that little bit is is a lot of fun. Thank you. Okay. I have another channel session at five, so I gotta go. Okay. <laughs>